New information tonight in a deadly shooting inside a jewelry store in Newark. Police say the store owner shot and killed a man who was trying to rob the store. But now we've obtained surveillance video taken from outside the store. So what exactly does it show? I would assume reporter Jeff Pagay at police headquarters in Newark. Jeffrey. And Bill, the attorney for the store owner, says his client fired in self-defense. So police have not closed the book on this investigation just yet. We're told that they are reviewing surveillance tape, but that may not include the surveillance video that we obtained that shows the aftermath of the attempted robbery. For parents like Sharon Payne, it's horrible. But somebody always getting hurt. It was the worst kind of afternoon pickup of her children. The cops were on the block. Police tape stretched out in front of her children's daycare and the suspect's alleged gun on the sidewalk. Dewan Barnett had seen enough. This kid's right here and it's, it's dangerous for them. It was the aftermath of an attempted robbery of this jewelry store on Central Avenue. It happened at about 10 after 3. And in this surveillance video, you see a crossing guard in the intersection. Parents walking their kids down the sidewalk. And then across the street, a man running out of the jewelry store. Someone chasing after him. The attorney for the owner says the shooting occurred in the store, not on the street, and that the store owner was firing in self-defense after the suspect made threats and demanded money. He's owned the place for 10 years? About 10 years or more. The store owner's father says this is not the first time his son's jewelry store has been targeted. Has he been robbed before? Once. This time, according to investigators, he turned the tables on the would-be robber, shooting and killing the suspect before he could get away. The attorney for the store owner says that his client has a license to possess and carry the gun that was used in today's shooting. Police have not made any arrests and they continue their investigation. We're live in Newark, Jeff Begay's Channel 7 Eyewitness News.